As per the scripture found inside the temple premise this temple was constructed in 1506 AD by a rich merchant from Chandragiri in memory of King Narsimha II. Come to the front of the temple. It is intriguing why this is named as Sesif Kalu Ganesha. Sasuve in Kannada means mustard seeds. The statue is around 8 feet and it is carved out of single boulder. The posture of Lord Ganesh is called Ardha Padmasan. As is tradition the temple is facing east. Parts of the statue are broken during the attack of Hampi after Ramaraya lost to the combined Bahamani army. Go around the temple in clockwise direction. As you are going around the corner you will find a portion of the floor covered in a glass. This is a old scripture and to protect that from further deterioration Archaeological Survey of India has put protected shield. Go around the temple and stand exactly facing the back of the Ganesha idol. Can you see something different here? On the back of Ganesha idol you see a woman in a sitting position. This looks as though Ganesh is sitting on the lap of this woman. This is believed to be the goddess Parvati. It is the imagination and creativity of the sculptor who has depicted this posture. If you observe carefully you can see that near the head portion the lady has tied her hair. You can also see the legs of the lady in a folded posture. The carvings on the statue are not so significant but the sheer size of the Ganesha idol makes this special. The pillars that are supporting the ceilings are also very plain and just doing what they are supposed to do. That is support the ceiling. Take your time to have a look around.